yeah, of course, we're talking about the McGirt v. Oklahoma case, which effectively found that the reservations of the five tribes are still intact today, at least for the purposes of federal criminal law. The tribes have praised that decision as affirming their sovereignty. In his speech yesterday, Governor Kevin Stitt outlining his concerns with the immediate impact of the McGirt ruling and the unanswered questions he says it leaves. I've invited the leaders of Oklahoma's sovereign tribes to join together and work with the state of Oklahoma. Tonight, Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. telling me in his view, the McGirt ruling just affirmed what the tribes already knew, that their reservations are still intact today. He said he does appreciate that the governor's office has reached out to have discussions in general about working together because of the governor's conduct relating to the uh, gaming compact that relationship was strained but uh, you know I think everybody has to be committed to improving that relationship myself included but it is difficult to do that I think uh, when we continue to hear uh, rhetoric about uh, you know two sets of rules for Oklahomans uh, pessimism about how we are going to deal with the McGirt ruling. Governor Stitt mentioned an example in his speech of a convicted rapist that he said had to be released because of the McGirt ruling. Hoskins says generally, though, convicted criminals that McGirt applies to are just moved from state custody to be retried in federal custody. That's exactly what happened to Jim C. McGirt himself, who was recently convicted again. No one wants uh, a dangerous criminal to be let out, and that includes me let out of prison. Uh, we want justice to be served. At the Capitol, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.